Hey there guys. So, uh, one of the things that I spent a large amount of time at Burning Man working on uh, was different approaches to putting together toroids with uh, flowers and other shapes in a 2D kind of space. This of course results in a lot of atomic style flowers. Uh, the inspiration for this, by the way, was uh, Alex Powell put out a video that uh, had pretty much every toroid that's been described so far in it, which I thought was wonderfully comprehensive, but there was one shape in it that I realized uh, we hadn't really explored in greater depth, which was uh, the possibility of combining together in-spin flowers and isospin um, toroids in all the timing and direction combinations. I think Alex demonstrated this one, which is uh, a toroid versus a four-petal in-spin uh, in split opposites. Yes? Now, in playing around with this, I sought to try and get the other timing and direction combinations in too, which turned out to be a big pain in the ass, because especially when it comes to same time, same direction, you're talking about working through all these different clash points where you're getting atomics, right? And what I found was that the easiest way to do it was to chart through each point one by one and find the point at which the poi don't tangle. There will be a video coming up on this because uh, this came out of a long conversation at uh, Burning Man with Arashi. Um, namely, if I'm in a place where, say, this poi is rotating, uh, this looks to me like it's clockwise, it'll look like counterclockwise to you guys, and this poi is rotating forwards towards the audience, the point where they don't clash is uh, right here where my hands are parallel and uncrossed. However, if I move to the next point of, uh, of this flower, the clash point happens with my, uh, uh, the horizontal plane underneath the plane in my left hand, right? And this is actually, oops, a pattern that repeats for most of the rest of the shape. There are two spots where your hands are uncrossed, uh, at, your, at the bottom, oops, and over here at your right hand side, yeah? So we have uncrossed, crossed, crossed, uncrossed, uncrossed. Crossed, crossed, uncrossed, uncrossed. And it, ooh, and it creates this nifty little pattern, which I personally think this looks badass as hell. Um, there is also, of course, doing this in same time opposites, like such, which unfortunately is a little sloppier because the transitions between the, uh, the lobes are a bit stickier to get through. This one needs some more polish to it. Uh, one of the cool discoveries, of course, in this is that four pedal in spin is easily combinable with uh, uh, with four lobe isospin. I suspect actually they uh, have a similar distance the poi heads are traveling in each pattern. Um, I don't have split time same direction down just yet. Give me a week or so on that one. Uh, but uh, one of the other patterns uh, I started working with, <laughs> uh, Ronan at uh, the Tahoe Flow Festival was teaching a class on pendulums and that got me thinking about combining toroids with pendulums and it looks like the easiest combination there is with a toroid triangle as such. And of course seeing this, I love that moment when they're both kind of going in a straight line like right there and they look kind of parallel. So that inspired me to try and take this pattern and then switch it into a triketra versus triangle, which uh, we've played around with having the triangle and the triketra are both oriented in the same direction, that is, both of them are pointing up. But this is one wherein the triketra is pointing down, so you'll have more of a Star of David feel than a double triangle feel, yeah? Cool. So, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoy that. And um, the, the thing that I'm finding most cool, actually, about playing with these is that it actually gets you to a point where you can start to improvise with your toroids and uh, your in-spin flowers. And really, you can start adding your anti-spin flowers in here too.
and creating a variety of shapes out of the resulting mix, you know? So, yeah. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will be back soon with more goodness for you. Thanks for watching. Peace.